it's about time for Molly to show up. I glance at the clock and hurriedly stalk the bread into shelf. I'm Amy, running a bakery in a small town in Nebraska. I moved here five years ago and finally opened my own bakery. Well, I share the business with my mother. My parents ran a bakery in New York City's old neighborhood. After high school, I mastered baking and worked in the family business. After my dad passed, mom and I relocated here to open a new bakery. We loved this nature-rich town and talked about moving here someday. Talking like that, we often visited new places on our days off. We found a perfect spot for our bakery and made a quick call to the realtor. A few months later, we moved and started the bakery. Yes, we're ready. Can't wait for tomorrow's opening, huh? I bet Dad's proud of us. On the first day, there was a line of customers outside. Welcome. Oh, what delicious-looking bread. And what a scent. It's made with sourdough. Really? Local wheat? Please try many kinds. The bread in our shop features a chewy texture that brings out the natural sweetness of the wheat. It is our home recipe passed down from my father's commitment to using natural yeast and carefully selected ingredients. Business steadily grew, with repeat customers increasing day by day. Then, suddenly, a tragedy struck. My mother passed away unexpectedly from a heart attack. She went to bed one night and never woke up again. She never opened her eyes again. I have been taking care of the bakery alone ever since. One day, the door opens, and a little girl walks in. Hi, Amy. Molly, have some fried bread ends with sugar today. Yay, I love those. When I took a bag of bread from the back table and handed it to Molly, she said, Just a bit. And took one out of the bag and ate it in one bite. Yummy, thank you. See you tomorrow. You bet, have a great day. Molly waved goodbye with a smile and left. It's been a year since Molly started coming to the shop every morning. That day, it was raining from the morning. As usual, I was getting ready for the opening by arranging freshly baked bread on the shelves. I see a young girl peeking inside my shop, without umbrella. I open the door and invite her in. Shop opens at 8. Where's your umbrella? Come inside. The little girl hesitated, turned toward me, and spoke in a soft voice. Do you have end pieces of bread? The end pieces of the bread? Yes, I heard you can get them for free at the bakery. The little girl looked down, seemingly embarrassed. Her mother must use them for cooking? I thought, we do have some, go ahead and take them. I said, putting the end pieces of the bread into a bag and handing it to the girl. Thank you. I give her a bag of bread heels and she leaves happily. Starting from that day, every morning at 7.50, a little girl named Molly would come by the bakery to pick up some bread heels. One day, curiosity got the better of me and I asked her, Hey Molly, what does your mom do with these bread ends? Does she make some sort of dish or use them for something else? Um, well, it's a secret. She mumbled, looking down as if she didn't want to talk about it. Despite my various questions over time, she seemed reluctant to share personal details. All I knew about her was her name, Molly, and that she was in first grade. While I knew little about her personal life, she would chat about her day at school. Guess what? Yesterday I drew a picture of my friend Rich and a giraffe. The teacher said we did a good job. Oh wow, I want you to draw it next time. Sure, I will. I always looked forward to these brief morning encounters with the smiling and adorable Molly. However, one day she came into the shop with a gloomy expression, unlike her usual self. Good morning, Amy. Morning. Hey, you don't seem yourself today. Are you not feeling well? I asked her since I was concerned that she might be sick, but she said, No, it's not that. She continued to look down, avoiding eye contact. What could be wrong? This was unlike her. Then, lifting her face towards me, she said, You see, I won't be coming here starting tomorrow. So, today is the last day for the bread ends. Oh, really? That's a surprise. I responded with a slightly surprised tone. Is she moving away? I'll miss you. Yay, I'm gonna miss you too. Tears appeared in her eyes. I softly patted her little head, telling her to come by anytime. Several months passed. One day while out shopping in town, I spotted a familiar little girl. Could it be? Molly? I recognized that yellow dress. And although her hair had grown, it was unmistakably her. I ran over to her. Molly. Oh, Amy. She seemed to recognize me instantly. Long time no see. I said, prompting her to suddenly break down into tears right there. 
What's wrong, Molly? She continued to cry, refusing to speak. Something was definitely wrong. I took her hand and led her to a nearby family diner to hear her out. Once we were seated, she began to calm down. Have you had lunch yet? You can order whatever you like. As I spread the menu on the table, her stomach growled audibly. Really? Can I eat anything I want? Her eyes, recently cleared of tears, widened as she scanned the menu. Finally, she said, Amy, I want this. Pointing at a kid's lunch that came with a melon soda and gave me a big, happy smile. I placed the order with the waitress, and our food arrived shortly after. Wow, this shrimp is delicious, and the fried chicken is so tender. The little girl enthusiastically picked up the food with her fork, grinning and declaring how tasty it was with every bite. Before long, she had polished off her kid's meal and seemed quite content. I'm stuffed, she said, and after a pause, started to open up. You know, I used to go get the crusts of bread every day. That was my meal. Your mom used to make all sorts of things for you, right? I asked, curious what kind of dish or dessert it was. Nah, just eating it plain. Sometimes toasted, but I never got tired because it was so good. Really? Every day? I was listening in disbelief. See, my mom works late nights and sleeps during the day, so she doesn't have time to cook for me. She told me that if I go to the bakery, I could get a lot of tasty bread crusts for free. She said with a small smile. She also taught me to take some leftover side dishes put out in front of the local deli after it closes. I go there and secretly take a bag home. I was speechless. This was too much. According to young Molly, she was once told by her mother to go to her grandmother's house alone, given a small amount of money. Her mother disappeared after that, never to return. Molly ended up living at her grandma's until an unfortunate accident landed her grandma in the hospital. With no other relatives to rely on, she confided in a school teacher, which eventually led her to a care facility. From then on, she's been commuting to school from that facility. As she explained this, she broke down crying. I too could not hold back my tears. Molly, you've been through so much. From now on, let's live together. I found myself saying, my bakery opens early but closes in the afternoon, so we can spend evenings together. And you can come play in the shop during the day whenever you like. I had been running my bakery for five years and was financially stable. I felt I could support a young girl. Really? Are you sure? Her teary, red eyes widened in surprise. She said firmly. Yes, I want to live with you. I went to the care facility and expressed my intention to adopt her. Although it took some time for paperwork and evaluations, we were eventually able to welcome her into our home. From that day on, Molly became my daughter. I now have new member in my family. Ah, uh, I've got an idea. She clapped her hands in excitement. How about mixing the dough with a paste of homegrown basil and tomato for the summer season, Mom? That sounds fabulous. Molly, no longer a child, graduated high school without issue and now attends a culinary school to become a baker. She's even working in the shop with us. Hey, let's try making that with my homemade sourdough starter. What a great idea. Let's do it. A friend who used to work with me at a bakery during my apprentice days suggested he had become a reliable partner, often coming by the shop to help out, and now he lives with us. The weather is really nice today, isn't it? One busy day, I looked up and saw a beautiful blue sky through the window. For a moment, I felt as if my parents were watching us from the other side, smiling. Mom, Dad, I found this wonderful family. Please keep watching over us. Just then, the sun seemed to glitter between the gaps in the clouds, as if cheering my farts.